Isn't it lovely here? There's so much to see. Let's have a look on the farm. There are donkeys, pigs, cows, and even geese. We've seen so much beautiful countryside and now wonderful woolly sheep. These new friends have just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Get busy with your hands and try making a fantastic fingerprint sheep picture. Let's make it! <laughs> now, we'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker. My name's Naomi. Oh, hello, Naomi. I can help you. Oh, that's great news. Everyone else, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Oh, that's brilliant. Naomi is on her way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> Excellent! The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our picture. We'll need some paper or card, a pen and some scissors, some brushes, some paint, and, of course, we need one more thing. That's right, we need a ball of wool. We don't need a ball of wool. Wait a minute. It's scraps. How did you get here? Oh, I see. Look, we don't need wool at the moment, but we do need a glue stick. Can you go and find one, please? Oh, don't forget the wool scraps. Ooh. There you go. That's much better. Thank you, scraps. Oh, bye. Thank you. <laughs> We've got a glue stick. Great. We've got everything we need. Uh, although it does feel like something is missing. Hmm. Do you know what it is? No. Uh... I'm here, Mr Maker. Of course, Naomi. It's you, my friend. Oh, it's lovely to see you. You're just in time. We're going to make a picture. It's a lovely fingerprint sheep picture. Now, what do you think of that, Naomi? Awesome. It is awesome, isn't it? So, are you ready? Yes. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, let's start by making the hills in our picture. And we can do that by taking some card or paper like this. And we're going to cover them in different shades of green paint. Now, this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some old paper or some newspaper first, and I think we should put some aprons on. Hey, we look good, don't we? Yeah. Let's get our paint ready. I've got some nice beakers here, and we'll need some paint. <laughs> Well done, Naomi. That's some great paint squirting. And now we can do some painting. So choose a shade of green and make streaks of paint across the card so you can see the paper underneath. That makes it look like the grass on the hills. And when you finish this one, do the same with your other sheets of paper using different shades of green. Then leave it to dry. And now we can draw our hills. So can you find me a pen, please? Oh, there's one. Thank you very much. Now, drawing hills is easy. They're just simple curves. <laughs> there we are. We have three hills. And now we need to cut these out. Oh, we must be careful because scissors are... Sharp! That's right. We've got our hills. So, Naomi, time to bring in our sky. Let's start arranging our hills. I'm going to put that there. You could arrange the hills on top of each other like this. And when you're happy, glue them all down. And now we need to make some sheep by using these things. 
I'm going to use my thumb and I'm going to dip it into the white paint and print it near the bottom of the page. Then dip your thumb in the paint again to print another sheet. Move up the paper and make your print smaller and smaller by using the rest of your fingers. This makes it look as if you've got sheep far away in the distance. Print as many sheep as you like, then leave them to dry. And Naomi, now we need to give our sheep a head and some feet. We're going to use our fingers again, but this time use the black paint for the legs. The head and the ears. Keep going until you've printed all of your sheep. And you can even add some extra bushes and some clouds to finish off your fantastic fingerprint sheet picture. Naomi, did you enjoy that? Yes, Mr. Maker. Good. Well, if you enjoy that, why don't you try these other ideas too? You could make some buzzing bumblebees with fingerprint bodies and wings. Or you could even try this icy scene with fingerprint penguins and fingerprint snow. Why don't you try one today? Thank you so much for helping me, Naomi. We made it! High five. Excellent work, my friend.